What's going on everybody, Troubles in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today we have a, another tier list video. This time we are going to be ranking all Four Roses bourbons. Now, Four Roses doesn't have the biggest lineup of options. There's not a whole lot of different bottles on the shelf, but I think they are kind of an under the radar gray man bourbon brand. A lot of people either have not tried them or they just pass them by. They don't really know much about most of their offerings. So I figured let's just put them all in a tier list so you can have an idea of where each of these stand. If you've tried these bottles, go to the comment section, leave your ranking so people uh, who've not tried Four Roses can go down there, see what you think about them, and can make an educated decision about which Four Roses they should pick up. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not, and again, go leave a comment, any comment, to say, so let's just get right into this list. We're gonna start with the basic of Four Roses, uh, what I have always called the Four Roses yellow label, even though now it's a little more of a fleshy, gross skin color. Back in the day, though, it used to be a yellow label. Uh, the whiskey itself is kind of yellow, um, and from what I remember back in the day, I even said this tasted yellow if that makes any sense. I mean, it just tasted like young hay. They've updated the label and stuff. I went and revisited it, and I don't hate it as much as I used to. I think this is just the most standard run-of-the-mill, nothing special, nothing bad. It's just there. It's an 80-proof bottle of whiskey, though, and it costs around 20 bucks. You know, me personally, I don't have a lot of uses for that. I've been using this bottle primarily for cocktails for Miss Wrench, and she seems to really be enjoying that, so maybe that is a really good option for you, but still, $20, I think $20 gets you Wild Turkey 101 and Old Forester 100 proof. It gets you a lot of stuff, and I just don't think this really fits the bill in any of that, though. It's not bad. It is not terrible. So I, I'm not gonna give it a failing grade, but it's definitely just there. I definitely would never really recommend this bottle for any reason. It's just, if you've never tried it and you're like me and you just wanna try everything that's out there, uh, I would probably put this at the bottom of the list, but um, I'm gonna give it a C minus, you know, I'm gonna pass you, uh, but I don't really, I'm not proud of you. I'm not proud of you at all, but I'm not failing you. All right, moving on to the next bottle on the list is the Four Roses Small Batch. This is a 90 proof version of that, I guess. What's up guys, Future Trev here just editing this video and I realized that Four Roses Small Batch is not just a 90 proof version of the Four Roses Yellow label. Instead, it uses four of the 10 mash bills, whereas the yellow label actually uses all 10 of them. We talk about this later on in the video, so it'll be explained a little further. It gets very confusing, so the best thing to do, go to the Four Roses Bourbon website and look over everything. It explains it a lot better. So let's just get back into the video. Again, Gray Man, really passed by. There's not a, anyone talks about this. It doesn't really, do anything too good, doesn't do anything bad, it's just there. Again, this one's around $33, it's a weird price. That's probably my biggest issue with this, again, is it doesn't do anything better than most bottles that it is competing against in that price bracket. In fact, there are cheaper bottles that do it better. 101, again, Wild Dirty 101, stuff like that. It's cheaper and it just does it better. I think this should definitely be uh, lower price, you know, $23. Drop 10 bucks off of it, and, and now we're talking. Maybe we can incorporate this into the daily sipper category, but uh, again, not bad. Not bad, but not overly good. Uh, something I've noticed, and this is very niche, so I can't bump it up too much because of this, but I've noticed this is kind of good outside as a, you know, springtime, 
summertime, you just want to sit and casually drink a lower proof bourbon outside, it actually does pretty good. But again, it's really niche. So for that, I, I would say it's better than the regular 80 proof offering, you know, B minus. Some might still say this is C. So B minus. Okay, that's I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but some of you might put it C plus or just C. It's just there. Doesn't do anything over the top. All right, let's move on to a bottle that looks eerily similar, but way better. Four Roses Small Batch Select. This is coming in 104 proof, non-chill filtered. Finally, finally, we got something that, that competes. This is it. Now, this is a little bit newer to the market, and by newer, I mean, you know, within a couple years, but I feel like this is something that this profile or this portfolio needed. Like, why were we not already doing something like this? I don't know, but I think this is a really good addition. I think this is one, you know, if someone says, I've never tried Four Roses, which one should I get? We're just, you're, you're not even getting the regular small batch or the yellow label. Just, that's, if you want to be introduced to Four Roses, that is not the way to go. I think this is a better option you're getting a lot more flavor. You're getting higher proof. You're getting non-chill filtered. It's just good. Now, something I haven't really uh, explained about Four Roses is that they have this system where they can make a lot of differences with a couple different things. So they have five different yeast strains and they have two different mash bills. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of the differences uh, they have a breakdown of what to expect of all of those combinations. So that's 10 different combinations of flavors they're working with. Just know this one is a combination of six of those recipes. So they explain on the back of this which six go into it and which, you know, what flavors each of those brings to the table and it's just a big old mingling around sixty dollars so yeah still a little pricey it's a trend with four roses a little pricey but i think this can compete i think it's good i think it's a great example of what four roses can be so with that i will put this into the a tier i think this is a shining example of a uh, good four roses so a moving on to a tried and true classic the Four Roses Single Barrel, 100 proof bottle of whiskey, really good stuff. This was kind of the OG, you know, before the Four Roses Small Batch Select, this was like, I've never tried Four Roses, what do I get? This was pretty much the only option of getting something really good, really easily, readily available. You know, back in the day, you know, five years ago, this was it. This was the time where it was Blanton's single barrel, Russell's single barrel, Four Roses single barrel. There wasn't this huge, massive selection of single barrels and all this stuff. There was just a couple top dogs. This was one of them. Now, I'm not quite sure. This is a single barrel. I don't know which recipe exactly goes into these. I don't know if it's a specific one that goes into all of this specific bottling, but I do know they do store picks of the 100 proof bottle, uh, so you can get more nuanced, more very specific, this single recipe of these bottles. So can be quite different. And we're gonna get more into that here with the next bottle, but I think this is a great example again of a really good Four Roses. I'm gonna put it in the A tier with the small batch select. It's just, this is where you should start with Four Roses. All right, moving on to the last bottle on this list is the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength Private Select. That is a mouthful. I was really debating whether or not I should put this on the list because these are all store picks. These, uh, they, they don't have a regular on the shelf offering of this. So, but the more I thought about it, the more I felt like this is, this needed to be on the list and it needed to be talked about. Why I wanted to talk about these is each of these picks are very specific mash bills that were recipes from Four Roses. So this one in particular uh, that I'm talking about today is the OESQ. Again, see the chart of which 
flavors, you know, those break down into, but this bottle got me thinking because this bottle in particular is absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite Four Roses. It's one of my favorite bottles I have. It's just so good. I've tried other ones and they're wildly different from each other. They're able to take, you know, an idea of let's do a barrel strength single barrel, but we can do specific recipes for that barrel, this barrel, and let people pick them. They're different ages. It, so it's, it's taking 10 different options, 10 different things you could end up having. Then you throw on, well, it's a single barrel, so that recipe and this recipe could be the same, could be totally different. They're different age statements. It's just a way to exponentially kind of grow your, your portfolio. So yeah, they have like five or six readily available bottles, but with all of these recipes, now you have just an endless amount of possibilities. Overall, I would probably put this as an S tier bourbon. Now there's a catch to that and it is because there are 10 different recipes and I've never tried all 10 of them. Uh, some of the recipes are pretty hard to get and it's just kind of luck of the draw. Say you go and do a pick with Four Roses. You know, I don't know exactly how it works if you go in there and say, I want this recipe, or if they just roll out X amount of barrels and say, pick your favorite, and that just so happens that's the recipe you get. I, I really don't know, but I know some of the recipes are pretty hard to come by, so there's no way to really know unless you have all 10 of them and you can side by side them to, to really see what you think. So I think the best thing to do is if you have access to these, you know, semi-regularly, is to just not finish your bottles so you can collect them a little bit or at least keep a journal or a note and just say this recipe I really liked or this recipe I didn't like so you know when you come across one, you can look at the letters and not be totally clueless. It does get quite overwhelming. The OBSK, the OBSQ, the OESQ, the OBSK, the AB, because it, it, it's, oh, it's too much. It's a lot to deal with, but it's fun. And I think it's a good way to get into Four Roses and to, and to try what they have to offer. These bottles range in prices. It really depends on the store selling them. Huge shout out to Ace Liquor, my local store, for selling this for $74.99. I've seen them all the way up to $100 and beyond. So, you know, is it worth those price? I mean, they're pretty hard to come by and they're really good. So to some people, spending 100 bucks is totally worth it. All right, so there we have it, guys. That is Four Roses Ranked. Let's go over the results. The Four Roses Yellow Label, or now the fleshy colored 80 proof bottle. You barely made it into passing grade C minus. You know, you just don't really offer a whole lot to the table. Moving on to the Four Roses Small Batch, moving up in proof, but moved up too much in price. Again, you're a gray man. You don't do too much. Very niche things about you. I gave you a B plus. Following that up with the Four Roses Small Batch Select, finally a non-chill filter delicious bottle of Four Roses, you get an A. Next is the Four Roses Single Barrel, the 100 proof tried and true classic. You get an A too, good job. And then finally, with a little asterisk, because it really depends on which recipe you get and how you feel about that specific recipe, but I am gonna go ahead and give the Four Roses Private Select, Barrel Strength, Single Barrel, an S tier rating. Just very great flavor profiles out there. You, there's 10 different options, so there's bound to be one for you. All right, hope you guys liked the video. Again, if you've tried all of these, if you have any of these, let people know in the comment section what you personally think about them so people trying to get into Four Roses know what they're getting into. That will do it. I'm Trev Wilson, guys. I'll see you in the next video.